The Whiskey Brothers Podcast is intended for an adult listening audience. If you find yourself easily offended, I guarantee this will do it. They don't want no problem. Nah. From Houston, Texas. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast starts now. Welcome to the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, everybody. I don't know what episode this is. Uh, in the room, what an interesting mix. Man, uh, Rob Mungle is here, yeah. as always. You're mm-hmm. always here. Uh, yeah. Sam Damaris. Hi, everyone. I feel like uh, they will have gotten some doses of you before they hear this one, so it's, uh, it's good to have you back. And then I don't know when this is going to happen again. Dale Cheeseman's here. I cannot believe Trump got elected. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> is an old episode. Just How, that date this? <laughs> How long has it been? <laughs> you're, in, you're in New York now. I am, Starving to death and uh, yeah. living the dream. Right. You're on the road with Doug Benson. Or yeah. were. Yeah, I, I yeah, can't yeah. tell you what this August. So. Mostly on the road, sometimes <laughs> with Doug Benson. <laughs> <laughs> see him 12 hours out of the three-week tour. That's Is that it? Yeah, just about. You guys don't hang. Everybody, here's, I love how everybody has this this image that uh, when you work with somebody of that le- of any level mm-hmm. that that there's just oh you guys just must hang out all the time mm-hmm. versus the reality of like with Tommy Drake you start, he was on tour with Cher yeah. he didn't meet her until the twenty second show why would she I, but, yeah, right, she got shit to do yeah, but, but you're Cher. also you're doing a job right yeah but she's Cher. Yeah, but no I mean, one wants to talk to Tommy on morning radio or on the fucking news. No, but he's not doing book signings or any shit. He's not doing photo ops. All right, my he's point not is doing the fucking clearly, Today show when they're in the fucking when they're in New York. The the point is good. Doug should be ignoring you. No, That's no, what we sure. learned. If it, anything's taught, if anyone, here. if y'all need to know what it's like when dreams come true, it's mostly just that feeling of waking up where you're like, oh shit, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I was just enjoying being asleep. There's no, there's no band playing, no crash of cymbals, no, no. confetti. It's uh, going to towns all over that I've never been to before and meeting the exact same person. <laughs> <laughs> of, uh, I listen to podcasts and I haven't been outside in four years. <laughs> Yeah, well, welcome to stand up. Please come hang out with me. And you're like, I actually, I have a mega bus that I would like to wait for <laughs> in a parking lot overnight. You get the, uh, I was, I remember it was, uh, I was out with uh, when Ashton Womack was still around, uh, and we had gone Rest out to a peace. gig. And we, <laughs> he's not dead. He's <laughs> he's dead to me. No, he's. Uh, we love Ashton. He he. We had done a gig, and he was. We were going after the gig over to hang out with some people from the show yeah and i was describing their house on the way there without having been there Mm -hmm. just because it was like sulfur springs texas or something so you knew exactly what it was in your mind 100 a a half empty sure handle of either maker's mark or taka vodka on top of the fridge a a, one of those metal sheet pans mid 80s ranch style Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 100%. The ranch style house. But one of those always, I don't know why, one of those sheet pans, like the left out with like three half eaten fish sticks that were there either for a child or for themselves while they watch daytime TV. Not their kid, but like a feral one. (laughs) Yes. We give them fish sticks every now and then. And we walked in, and I'll be goddamned if they didn't pull a handle of fucking whiskey (laughs) off the fridge and go, well, we could make some food, but our our pan's dirty. Now, are you familiar with the term swingers? uh, (laughs) The worst is when the dude, when somebody somebody invites you, when you you don't have any pot. I'm talking to you, Dale. And somebody's like, well, man, I can get you stoned real quick. And you're like, you have to put on the scale, is it w- having to go wherever they're going? And then the chances are, like, all right, one dude was like, oh, fuck, I thought I had more. And then he was like, but I got enough. I could cobble. He started scraping, like, the coffee table. I'm like, I'm not smoking yeah. half yeah. a Pop-Tart Just with you. Trash. This is not. It depends on the situation. No. When we were in Germany, we did the show, and I jumped in a car with, like, three 17-year-olds <laughs> because they said they had, like, dirt weed at home. <laughs> And we went over there, and what that meant was they had a bunch of dirt, and there was a little bit of weed that had fallen into it, and I smoked that for four hours with them, because I had been sober for like three weeks at that point. Rob, you mentioned the swing of thing. Have you okay, ever gotten off stage and had a dude ask you to fuck his wife? No. Three times. Really? Three well, you're black. That's it, 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 because it's thing. always a just fucking, like that. It's always in a podunk Texas town. Sure, yeah, it's the cuck thing. No, it's one part time, of the cuck one, is, one time I had a girl who thought she could talk her boyfriend into it, and I was like, "What the fuck are you trying to do?" She's like, "I'm pretty sure he'd let me fuck you, but it'd have to be there." And quit I quit being extra and just cheat. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you're looking for. 
Oh, you're Polly. I've never you're, gotten a comedy. No, no, no. Here's the thing, though. But you had the girl go, go. hey, man, like, I'm sure I can talk him into I've had the husbands come up and be like, no, that's my wife. Isn't she hot? No, this, yeah, man. Uh, you, you did what's good. your response? You did good for yourself. Hey, man, we've kind of got this thing. No, no, no. Are you going to be in the room? Yes. Then no, <laughs> no, no, no. I won't touch you. Nothing but weirder. Oh, no, fuck. no. Cheers, gentlemen. And it's always some podunk town where the guy wants to see some black chick or black dude fuck his wife because he's racist <laughs> and he fucking wants and to. And I get feel it. weird about putting on the black face. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. <laughs> no. I'm like oh, any other mammy. scenario. Mammy. Any mammy, other scenario, yeah. I am not black. Like you, you're just you're being racist. You're looking with your eyes. <laughs> no, the most <laughs> the most awkward night of my life. I was on a family vacation and I was 18 and that was the drinking age there. And so I was drinking white. I was starting with white Russians because I didn't know how to drink, right? And I was yeah, just, buddy. I was putting, oh, the, yeah. I was like on my third. White Russians at Long Island iced teas are like the tells. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's your first night out. Bro, when I was bartending, I'm you walked to see up your to the ID. bar and you were like, a Long Island iced tea, I'm like, right after I see your ID. Give me the card. Yeah. Right after. That and me quoting you're either 21 Anchorman or religiously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I was not doing, but I was sitting at the bar, I was on, <laughs> I was on my third uh, White Russian, it was a hard 745 at night, <laughs> and uh, there was this bar, there was this guy sitting next to me at the bar, and he was talking about uh, White Russians, and he wanted to teach me how to play Baccarat. I did not know this man. I did not know what grooming was at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was a virgin. I was on a family vacation. But he was like, yeah, sure, we'll go. But first, we'll go to my room, and we'll take uh, some uh, Vicodin and uh, you know, just see what happens. And then we'll go to the casino, and then we go back to his hotel room. Holy shit. He and his wife, she lays out across the bed. She is a good... 250. Like, I feel, oh. I feel oh. comfortable guessing that. <laughs> she, like, lays across the bed. And, and I should not be that. 250 should not disgust me. Yet. Well, then let's say 350 because I'm trying to get disgust. <laughs> That's right. that's the vibe. I'm trying I'm going to be human. For. That's all. 250 disgusts the fuck out of me, uh, Dale. I am a I, I'm a virgin at the time, and he says the real reason we brought you back here is <laughs> I want to pay you five thousand dollars to fuck my wife, and I am a virgin on a family vacation, uh. wasted on white Russians. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just like, <laughs> like, all right, buddy, but this is gonna suck. I, I, I didn't, I didn't know how I was gonna lose my virginity, but this <laughs> wasn't out of the question. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, right about to say yes, and they both just started laughing in my face. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> they were like, we're obviously joking. It's like, yeah, no, no, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Yeah. Oh god, that's fantastic. So did you fuck her? That's I tried. <laughs> yeah, Rob, but for free. It's not yeah. really a victory. No, I was such a fuck. I was terrible. We went to the casino. We played baccarat all night, going up table. Uh, Wait, why did you bring up the fact that you didn't know what grooming was? Where does that? What's what part of the story does that factor into? Because I didn't understand why grooming. I was being invited back to a hotel room with him and his wife. Oh, that kind of grooming. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I'm just picturing two very unshaven people oh, naked yeah. on a bed trying to give Dale five thousand. I got out of childhood scot free, no grooming, <laughs> and that's mostly on me and my diet. Okay. Uh, but like the, the rest of the night, I was following him around, and it was crazy. We played back rat all night, uh -huh. going up table limits till we get to the highest one. And then he's like talking to a guy, and he's like, take me to the higher stakes table. And they're like, this is the highest stakes table on the floor. And he's like, yeah, I know. Take me to the highest stakes table. What? The and they go to this back room of the casino, and there's just like, f uh, there's like 10... 23 to 28 year old blondes uh -huh. around five of the hairiest Greek businessmen <laughs> playing Baccarat and like the guy I'm with that I had met he was a lawyer from Akron he gave me a stack of money and he's like sit next to me do exactly what I do uh -huh. you're gonna play with my money and I sit down and the Blondes like sort of like one of them comes By up. By the to way, me. who all got five thousand dollars that night? <laughs> yeah. all, all at, of them. At least just on retainer. Like, and and she comes up to me and she was like, uh, "Hey, big spinner." I was like, "No, I'm just holding <laughs> his money." <laughs> and like, 
blew that shot as well. I was a virgin for a few years well, after that boy, too. Yeah, I, oh. I, I, I don't lie, my fucking, I don't lie, yeah. my virgin dick off. We all would have done better in retrospect. Hey, hey big spender. Hey, cheap whore. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I, dude, I am spending your fucking money. You said sit down next to me, do everything I do, bitch. I will do as you say, not as you do. I know. Hey, Vic Spender, you damn right. Cash out, please. Dude, that's not your money. Shut the fuck up. Don't ruin this. This man is touching me. Yes. I'm 17. Yes. He asked me to fuck his wife. You will go to jail, motherfucker. Know, he gave me a bunch of pills. You can check my body, I right. guess, for no, Vicodin. I, I was trying to be cool because I still thought there was a chance with his wife. <laughs> the 250 to pound. <laughs> we we hair moved suit it up to woman? 350. The remember, 350. For the, for the, the fucking beanbag chair he's left in that bed. I can't describe how much of a virgin I was. No, you I just did. Excited. You were loyal <laughs> to the woman you hadn't fucked yet. Yeah. You had no chance with. Because when somebody lied. was coming up straight up trying to fuck you for the chips in front of you, you were like, I can't cheat on the woman who laughed at my penis. Like, oh. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so if y'all are out there, they're probably listeners, they're fans. <laughs> yeah. I'm down. Oh. <laughs> I gotta get that, that white whale. Near. Where was this at? It was very whale like. <laughs> the literal white whale. <laughs> Where was this at? This is in the Bahamas. Oh Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> Poor Where girl. the fuck do you find 10, 28-year-old blondes in the Bahamas? You like, gotta ship them in. Yeah, those Atlanta, are, yeah, that's, baby. That's a fucking, yeah, you know, that's uh, a shipping container. Not, yeah, yeah that's, uh, <laughs> There were 20. Yeah. <laughs> how many made it? <laughs> yeah, those are not locally sourced. You no, can actually fucking... predict how many of them are gonna be there by how many Russian yachts are in the marina. <laughs> <laughs> the SS Vetlana. <laughs> I named this after my mistress because my wife doesn't care about my boats. No, I named this after the one that didn't make it. They got. <laughs> they ship those girls over here like sunfish fry. They're just three. They three million oh. babies, three million eggs. Two of them reach adulthood. No, these girls were so skinny and blonde. It was like they probably came in a Pringles can. <laughs> <laughs> Just stacked on top. <laughs> oh, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, we are the Whiskey Brothers. Oh. No, we're, we're coming right back. Uh, so go. You got a line? You got a good one? The SS Svetlana Stad. <laughs> so we're coming right back. <laughs> I tried. I thought I had to stop. Svetlana Stad. I don't even know how to spell it, but I will start it. Uh, uh, Rob Mungle and Dale Cheeseman is with me as well. Uh, Drunk Dallas, will you? 323 510 shot. Ah! 323-510-7468. Uh, it sounds like we're doing a live episode, but uh, a lot of that is because we got comics in the house. Uh, and former guests, most of them. Uh, Zai Devji is over there somewhere. Grady Pruitt. And then, uh, the of course, Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes. The American Dream. Uh, yeah, so they're in the studio. We're hanging out. It's a late night session uh, trying to get some of these episodes knocked out for August and September. But uh, we love you guys for listening. We're coming right back. Are you new to the Whiskey Brothers? Then check out the legendary first 400 episodes. Access the archives at praisewhiskey.com. Welcome back to the Whiskey Brothers Podcast. Uh, it's good to have this crew back in the studio. Sam Damaris, Rob Bungle, Dale Cheeseman, I'm Slade. We're all on uh, Twitter underneath our own names, except for Dale, you got to put a four at the end. Which is also my name, all right? Okay, but I mean, <laughs> you don't have a four in your Look, name. Look, respect the lineage. <laughs> oh, if Wait. You're the fourth Dale Cheeseman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're real, is that why you got the four? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are yeah, there weren't other three other Dale Cheese. <laughs> there was there's one other Dale Cheeseman on Twitter, and he's an Australian construction worker. That's right. So you he, couldn't get Dale Cheeseman. He beats so you, me to the punch on every social you media punted. thing. Yeah, and you took so Dale to four. Okay, to four. Sure. You know what? I'll stop. Dis I'll stop disparaging your name. Uh, yeah. okay. I totally thought that was the just point a of that is my career is never going to take off because of, of an Australian construction <laughs> worker. But eventually, you can buy it from him. But his <laughs> career is going to be on fucking fire. Yeah, <laughs> he's getting right, fucking Mike, messages you need something built. I could do it for you. Right. Let's. Let's like get the calling me for Australia's Got Talent They think I'm a comedian no. right? Let's get the guy to do the driveway Who opens for Doug Benson <laughs> That'd be great I bet he's hilarious Hey, stop letting that concrete Say something funny <laughs> Say something funny, you can't. No, actually, I, I can't help you with that project Because I'm touring the southern United States this week <laughs> it's, uh, Some clubs reached out to me and I said, sure <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got a mega bus <laughs> It's so weird You'd think the drug test could Construction workers. Mm, not down under. 
<laughs> oh, no. God, no. Oh, I feel like there's zero regulation to anything Australian. We have some fans down Australia, there. Australia, the re- it's so weird because they'll like, if you ever go, I, I have a friend who went down there and he, he went to a doctor and he's like, yeah, your, your AIDS test came back negative, but uh, down here it's the opposite, so sorry. <laughs> 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 That's fucking funny. Yeah, the AIDS <laughs> test spins the other way. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's yeah, so weird. They yeah. gain T cells. Right, when you fucking <laughs> spin in the centrifuge, it goes the other way. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. You the, the, the way you catch it, you put someone's butt in your dick. It's very straight. No, that's... <laughs> In the 80s. The uh, problem is <laughs> I, I have too many immunities, <laughs> and it's it's rejecting my own blood. <laughs> uh, cheers, So guys. toast to that, Australian that AIDS. Was, that's yeah. Australian AIDS. They cure Australian it with Vegemite, AIDS. though. <laughs> oh. Have you ever eaten Vegemite? Hey, fuck no, I'm oh, black. God. Dude, no. it looks, I've been in its presence. It's horrible. I've been in its presence. <laughs> Multiple times. Yeah, that's the sound you make when you eat Vegemite. Right uh, there, it's gross. I need you to explain what it is to me it's because like, it looks it's like, like it's it like looks like dirt jelly. It's vegetable loaf, basically. Dirt jelly. Yeah. If vegetables could be vegan, <laughs> <laughs> that's what Vegemite is. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. And again, I say when he says, "Have you ever had it?" No, I'm black. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Vegemite. It's it's a vegetable paste. Yeah, it's like a loaf of vegetables jammed together in a fucking. Uh, they cram it all together, and it's gross. Like it's like it's like, it's what it's what Austin would probably taste like. Is it like it's like V eight but as meatloaf? Kinda, yeah. It's just disgusting. Okay, it's, it's like, not. It's vile. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I, I all right. I'm not. I'm not. It's. A, it's I, I don't. I, I don't, that's one of the very rare things I know about Australians eating, and I just was like, "Yeah." So I said, Vegemite. "But they all swear by it." Yeah, they love it. Yeah, is it? A, it's, it's, their, it's, it's vegetable a, spam. It is a spread. You put it on like yeah. bread or crackers right. or toast. Make a make a make a and it's brown. It looks like it looks like olive paste. Yeah, I, they can have it. Knock themselves out. Have y'all heard of the uh, billions the of fucking animals down there you can fucking eat and they choose that? Ah, Fine. they're hard to kill in Australia. Yeah. It's not like there's a lot eat of a kangaroo. Fuck I, you. I, it's delicious. Hey, have y'all heard of that new hit rapper in Australia, Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> He's got that song. <laughs> oh, boy. I remember growing up on Veggie Sa- oh, never mind. <laughs> It's too late. I'm too loose. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar. That Lamar fella. Kendrick Lamar? Yeah. <laughs> Australia's a hard accent to do right. It always yeah. sounds English. The only thing, only way I know to tell people to do it, I know the, uh, the uh, roller... Uh, if you say rollerblades, <laughs> rollerblades. If you no, if you say roll up lights, roll up lights. It's rollerblades oh, nice. in Australia. Roll up lights. Yeah, like if you say if you yeah. say if you say bacon in Jamaican, it's beer can. <laughs> or if you say beer can in Jamaican, it's bacon. bacon. Or some shit like that. Yeah, I roll up on, I roll up my lights and then I have some bacon. Roll up lights. I mean, that's what I said. I'm in the yard what and we roll up lights. What the fuck you talking about? That's what I said. The hardest <laughs> part lights. I've like tried to do. The hardest thing is they put an R. At the end of like vowel words, no. like, like so they they don't say no, they go no. Nah. That and here's what else Australians Australians suck. Let's just get right down to it. They're dicks uh, and they can't talk and they abbreviate shit. Everything is a breakfast is brekkie. Yeah. And sh- no. Yeah. Shut up. You're a grown ass man. Sunglasses are sunny. Sunnies. You're a dick. Yeah. Use Aus- the words. Australia is like if a country was a fraternity. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, no sleeves. Yes. Life's a party. Yes. And uh, mm-hmm. fuck proper English. Yes. Alpha, umlaut, sigma. I don't know what the fucking Greek <laughs> for you is, but uh, it makes it so cool because it's like, wow, th- this is y'all are the absolute. I say y'all. If, if you're Australian, you're listening. Y'all are the absolute. If you're Australian, you're listening. Stop. <laughs> you're the absolute opposite of black people, okay? You have your own language and you have your own slang and everyone thinks it's stupid. <laughs> Drake says YOLO one time, it's on a million t-shirts. Understand? Yeah, but how, how many... There's a country song called Honky Talk, but Donka Donk. Absolutely. <laughs> Missy Elliott said, but Donka Donk, and white people took it. Yes, no right. one is taking Bricky. Nobody's <laughs> taking anything fucking Osha. I could probably go on Twitter right now and get at Crikey, and no one even gives a shit. No, no one gives a shit. Yeah, Australia is what happens. Australia is what happens when the U.S. didn't fuck with their Indians. That's what <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, instead they fucked with black people, yeah. and people still won't take a shit. <laughs> yeah, you, you're. 
Yeah, you're the exact opposite of black people, which is funny because you started as a prison. <laughs> <laughs> and you couldn't get any blackness in a prison car. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're all in like the same gang now. Louisiana was shitty food. Yeah, <laughs> you were England's ghetto. <laughs> they sent the undesirables there, and you developed no culture. That's funny though. An all-white prison colony is just Australia. Australia. Yeah, it's Australia. <laughs> And you can only live on like an inch of it. Bro, the whole <laughs> country is designed There's to nothing. fucking kill you. Yeah. All it, of it. It's, it's the spiders, the snakes, the women. It's the, the whole the women? plate. Yeah, you, you know, the <laughs> Meanwhile, an all black prison colony is called Rikers Island. <laughs> Australia was the first scared straight program in the world. They sent British's improper people down there. British is. <laughs> British is. <laughs> Britain's improper people down there. And they're like. Like, oh, well, tell me right now, is this the life you want to live? And they're like, no, yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> it's, that failed. I'm just, <laughs> no, I, you're trying to move past it, but let's just. No, I was, it. Look, no, let's just. Let's, you want to send uh, your reprobates? Have I got an island for you? <laughs> Let me tell you. A big hunk of bullshit full of everything that wants to eat you. Play, bring everybody you hate. That's fine. I'm looking for, I'm looking for a place. It's a dollar a pound for the whole fucking thing. <laughs> Wait a second. But here's the thing. I don't want the whole place to be habitable. This is important. Perfect. Oh, oh don't <laughs> don't you fucking worry about it. We're gonna da- guarantee eighty percent lethal environment. <laughs> so, so everything outside of my where I'm at is gonna be it's gonna ward away. You'll die. It will be a free range farm where the chickens all have switchblades. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, this is this is what it. What, but I need to go to the store. What happens when I leave? Can I leave? Is it safe? Is there a... You called me. Why would you leave? leave. Yeah. <laughs> it's an island paradise. <laughs> but but you said everything on it is deadly. Okay, so the like, animals at least I'll recognize, right? Like there will be, there will be things. It'll, it won't be... It's beautiful. You can fight these kangaroos. It's wonderful. What's a kangaroo? It's That's a, a big, big fuck, It's a rat with a fucking belly button. That's okay. huge. <laughs> It's fucking amazing. He jumps around. He slaps your bitch. It's fucking amazing. Bye Here's this. the thing. We're going to do a Down Under special where everything is opposite. The deadliest looking things are fine. The cutest looking things will give you a deadly disease. <laughs> okay. Where does, what, is the, what about the koala? They're the, cute. No. They all have herpes. <laughs> <laughs> It's chlamydia. Uh, (laughs) It was chlamydia. We upgraded for free to the deal. Why are you not signing these papers? Oh, my God. This is so convincing. If you don't buy this house, I'm buying this house. I know. I think we. I, well, I think we should send the neighbors that we don't like and make them go. You're buy the it. neighbor I don't like. I'm trying to buy this fucking house. <laughs> this you is- send them. We put them up. They'll never leave. <laughs> and what was your name again? Bonadut. <laughs> <laughs> We got these great black people down there. They're kind of gray. It's all right. I don't know what they put on. And they play a didgeridoo. You're going to fucking love it. A didgeridoo? Yeah, that it sounds, sounds racist. Yeah, what yeah, is a didgeridoo? It sound, I don't know. It it's sound, something I made up for them. <laughs> <laughs> they have a total name for it. I said, that's a didgeridoo. You were all abaluba doos. <laughs> this is your culture. <laughs> This Just stuck, like, do not fuck up my backstory. If you put a vibrating dildo in a saxophone, <laughs> this is kind of what it sounds like. <laughs> it's amazing. They are a culture that are to be recognized. Okay, so wait, okay. wait, wait. It's going to be my island, but there's already black people That's living right. there? It's okay to keep to themselves. Okay, I mean, I'm kind of... They pray I'm, to the wind. It's I'm amazing. Into this. I'm into this. I heard they have a rock that they like, a big rock. like Right a big, in the fucking middle. Yeah. It takes you six months to get there. Can but I go? It's, yeah, it's yours. We'll throw the rock. It's part of the for, island? It's part of the island. Shut up! For free. For free. So you mean like a mountain, right? Yeah. You say potato. We <laughs> consider it the nipple of Australia. <laughs> <laughs> So you're selling me an island full of black people who That's play right. a saxophone with a nipple. Yeah. Selling you, you're stealing it from us. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got we, Chetty I'm Pe- the one getting screwed If here. you were as committed to your character as he is to his, this would be funnier. This <laughs> Look, I got Jenny Depp on the line. I got to make a choice here. <laughs> Fucking figure it out. Call your wife. He's going to beat his wife here. You could beat me here. You can beat whoever you want. It's your fucking island. And it's got a nipple. (laughs) 
And how big is it? It's big enough. It's big enough. <laughs> Are there beaches? Beaches, sure. It's but an the, island. The sand. You called me. <laughs> the sand has all been sharpened by the uh, indigenous people. <laughs> and that's the abalubadoos. <laughs> the abalubadoos. Hey, buddy. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's your island. <laughs> okay, I, I I think I want to call them aborigines. Yeah, whatever. That is the one thing we will not allow, and we're not backing <laughs> down from it. <laughs> I just cut his out. Why do we wait while our beds are burning? Hey, I got Why Christian we Slater on the other line right now. He's ready to go on this okay, deal. Okay, maybe he'll buy an island full of black people with blonde hair. That it wouldn't be the, the first time. <laughs> <laughs> he's got Gleam in the Cube 2 money. You don't know what he's up to. Christian Slater can't get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> so who, who, who are some of your other clients? We got Johnny Travolta, uh, Johnny <laughs> Julia Tra- Louise Dreyfus. <laughs> she runs an entire slave colony in the middle of the Atlantic <laughs> in the summer. She keeps a hyphen there in the off season. <laughs> Sarah Michelle Geller, you heard of her? Is that where she's been? She's trying to get out, but it's a very strict contract. You ready for this one? Yanni! <laughs> that sounds oh. like the name of an island. <laughs> Good time. Oh, my God. Oh, the classics. I've missed me some Bonaduce. <laughs> I have We've been on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> on a sell- fucking island! <laughs> this one's so big, I sell one a decade. I'm set. <laughs> one a decade. That's what I sold to the British! Yeah. <laughs> Those fuckers, they don't know what they buy. <laughs> <laughs> they bought fucking India for the chickens. <laughs> I said, I got all the spice here. <laughs> Why aren't you buying it for the chickens? <laughs> <laughs> they taste the same wherever you boil them, you fucking idiots. Also, India, not an island. Not an island. <laughs> they they didn't know. <laughs> Neither did they you. didn't know. We, uh, Dale, you're going to stick around uh, at least for another episode. I, I, again, I don't know when these go up, but God, it's good having you back on this podcast. You were doing WBNY for a while, and uh, that took a hiatus. Uh, we're going to put you back on in some capacity. No, yeah, yeah, I'm still trying to do uh, Whiskey Brothers East North. <laughs> uh, our our schedule has just been tight. Life is. Look, I'm going to be real with the people right here, right now. Life is a little bit tough for me. Um, so please stop donating to the Patreon. <laughs> just send me money directly. <laughs> Cut out the middleman. <laughs> And the moment I get $20,000 cash, I will do another 12-minute episode. I swear to God. (laughs) They might have been swayed by that. Well, they wouldn't buy a fucking $110 tracksuit. I doubt they'll do this. (laughs) I'm so sad you didn't get that. Um, uh, What's the point of doing a show if you don't have just lesions (laughs) of committed Serial killer esque lesions fans. is get lesions are on your skin. Legions are fans. That's, you get Legions. For, that's what you get for fucking that koala. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, <laughs> we It'll get, fuck you. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta take a break. Uh, shouts out to our uh, studio audience. That's a bit. They they quit listening to us a long yeah. time ago. We gave them uh, a bottle of whiskey. And Grady and Zion and uh, Dusty. We're uh, we're the Whiskey Brothers. Uh, you can follow everything us at Praise Whiskey. I think they are. Uh, at Praise Whiskey is us. Uh, all of us collectively uh, can be found individually. Collectively can be found individually. <laughs> I should shut up. We're under our names, but you got to p- put a four at the end of Dale's. Sure, uh, sure. This episode in the can. I am somewhere either in Canada right now or uh, or Europe, and I don't I am know which. Either in Colombia or Europe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Rob's definitely in Houston, and Dale's definitely yeah. in New York. And we're definitely going to be back on a future episode of the Whiskey Brothers podcast. They don't want no problem. Nah. Music provided by Scarface. Thank you for listening to yet another excellent episode of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, the world's funniest podcast ever. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast was made in America by Americans, mostly in and around the Houston area. All content copyright the Whiskey Brothers. This concludes our broadcast day. Goodbye.